Hey everybody, it's Evan and Arcade from Hip Tiki TV, and this is another episode of Designing Tiki, where this time we take a look at tiki menus and how they were designed. Now by no means do I know exactly what went into uh, making these. As a designer, I can look at it and just sort of break it down and say, this is how I would have done it uh, through my own processes of being a designer for like, I don't know, almost 20 years. So anyway, the first one up is the False Idol Tiki Menu. Now this is the most recent release, recently released one. I'm not exactly sure when, although they did come out roughly around the time Tiki Oasis 2019 came about, which is around, like around August, so maybe early August is when these guys first popped out. Now this is a very long Tiki menu, roughly around 18 inches tall, die cut, as you can see it's cut around here on the edges of the Tiki itself. Um, but yeah, it's a very tall menu, you can see here, like this is a swizzle stick from Fall Side on this is like a highball glass swizzle, so you can imagine this is a pretty tall menu. Um, looking at it up close, you can see it's got like this kind of very faint wood grain in here. I'm going to see if I can get closer without getting too much glare. Uh, you see it all around here. Um, the tiki itself looks something that you could easily hand draw on this and then taking it into Photoshop or Illustrator, traced it out and uh, just do the form because then you can scale this because I've seen this, uh, this exact tiki in different menus or in different uh, graphics so it's super easy once you're an illustrator to stretch this graphics out that's why i that's why i love using illustrator for everything because you never lose any of that quality you can stretch it out as much as you want posters banners or something super small and you never lose the quality whereas photoshop you still get that issue so depending on how big you designed in the first place looking down here the false idol logo has like this cool wooden texture that's easily done through masking you just kind of slap on a texture right above it then put the logo on top of it and just have the texture show through it. A little craggly wood texture. Textures are easy to find online anywhere you go. Cool little brush here, a speckled brush here. That's just a brush you could tack on. Or create yourself through Photoshop or even Illustrator. Super easy. On the back, you get all this cool tiki designs, very reminiscent of like Bosco's work. So if you've been to Fall Side, you can see that a lot of his work is already decorating the entire bar for like, well, for the most of the part of the bar, right? Along the walls, this is really cool stuff here. A little small false idol logo right there. This I got actually a, a Polaroid emulsion spill on here, so it kind of bleached this area, which I find it pretty funny. Um, yeah, beautiful illustrations. Again, these look like they could have been also uh, hand drawn and then translated over to uh, Illustrator. Like these small, really good pieces right here. Look it up. It's actually a trifold menu. It's a big trifold menu, and it's made to look, as you can see here up close. At first I thought I had like a used one, but these are just kind of made to look weathered. Even the paper texture itself, you can see right here, is all looking at obviously the speckled here of like used glasses and, and drops right here, just kind of spilling all over. It's all seems to be the same color, almost very wine colored speckled spot, drops and spots. But yeah, this is basically just a kind of parchment style texture paper you can find to add up there. Very high quality textures you can find online. Same thing with the drops, you could easily recreate them or just get them pre-stamped and you just kind of slap them all over the place. Up close this is my favorite thing. This is the exact reason why I love collecting tiki menus is because a lot of them come with illustrations of the drinks and this is no exception. These are so beautiful. I wish I could get even closer without, let me see how close can I get. Yeah, see these, these are great. Um, they could either, either be drawn, hand drawn, again, or even inked and watercolor painted or you could also recreate watercolor in Photoshop. Um, but these are beautiful, actually. I mean, very great representations of what the drinks look like. <clears throat> the great thing about Fall Seidel is they do like the classic menu with their own modern take on them. So you have one in each there. It's a really cool uh, design for a menu, uh, uh, for a bar menu, I should say, for a bar program, which is super, super delicious. I haven't tried all of them. I think I had like three of them, but they're all very good, like on the this Pearl Drive Diver. So the glasses made right there. I'm just gonna look through a lot of these other illustrations. Yeah, really good. I've been wanting to do something like that. Look, they even just they even like hand drew like a lot of their mugs and, and glassware that is available to buy. Which is here's a classic tiki one that is uh, on the cover of the menu. And this is the, the another signature mug. A little spear illustration here as a page break. And this big bowl, scorpion bowl. Yeah, this is pretty good, very tasty. Look, the, the, the quality and the, the detail of this illustration is really great. There's some more over here, with the classic one with the lava running down. Opening up, it's just a lot of more stuff here, you know, like I said before, another spear there. A couple of page breaks depending on the style of uh, drinks you want, so 
Let's see if there's any more in here. We see, we saw the bracing stirred cocktails, and then there's something else here. I think here is the exceptionally strong cocktails. Let's see the name you there. But overall, this is a very awesome tiki menu. Again, large. You get a good selection of like all the all the drinks that you can find on there. I'm not even criticizing the drinks itself. It's just about the menu itself, the designs. Everything's very easily readable, and you can see exactly what the drinks are gonna look like, for the most part, right? Depending if they have the, the available glassware. That's pretty much it for Designing Tiki, uh, the, the very first one of this particular series. I really do like breaking down stuff in general when it comes to design. As you guys know, I like to make stuff as well, so this is a nice little break and little exercise and what went into make this and to eventually design your own. I'd like to design some uh, tiki menus at one point or any menu, really, but mahalo. Thanks for watching. As always, check out the website, hiparcade.com or hip-tiki.com. We'll take you to that same website to get all the cool hip tiki stuff. And for more, just check us out on Instagram. And I'm saying that because I'm also posting this video elsewhere. So Instagram is hip underscore tiki. Thanks a lot.